please hold all my calls. Okay, I will do. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm much better now, thanks. It's great to see you smiling again. Thanks. You know a beautiful smile is a beautiful thing. Isn't that kind of repetitive? Maybe. But a beautiful smile really affects the people looking at it. So it's beautiful for the patient and whoever is looking. It is kind of amazing how a beautiful smile affects other people. They not only think a person with such a smile is attractive, but they also imagine that person is smarter, friendlier, healthier, more successful. All that from a smile? There have even been studies to back this up. Think about the opposite, someone with really crooked or stained teeth. What do people think of that? I guess they think the person isn't so smart, isn't so healthy, isn't so successful, doesn't care enough to take good care of themselves. Whether correct or not, that is the kind of assumptions people make. I've known people with bad smiles. Some don't like to smile a whole lot. They're embarrassed. I've had patients who improved their smile, not only perked up their romantic life, but also got promotions at work, found people paid attention to them as if they were suddenly more intelligent, they were thought of as friendlier and more outgoing as well. Those benefits are huge. And I guess if a person doesn't fix his or her ugly smile, it is not all that smart. You are perhaps right. Not having a beautiful smile is not smart. One of the best ways to make a smile beautiful is with veneers. Veneers? A tooth veneer is basically a thin porcelain cover that we attach onto a tooth. It looks just like a tooth, but is perfect. For one thing, it can instantly give you permanently white teeth. That sounds pretty darn good. It's better than good. It not only can improve the tooth's color, it can also improve its appearance if the tooth is chipped, crooked, or uneven. It will give the tooth a perfect shape and contour. That is very cool. It can even lengthen a tooth that is too short, or fill in gaps if there's too much space between teeth by making the veneer surface slightly wider than the actual tooth. It's a miracle. Pretty close. By making little adjustments, we often can make teeth look perfectly aligned. Without braces. It's a miracle. The final result is that teeth look healthier and younger. It is a miracle. It can even help the tooth function better if it has been damaged. It's beyond a miracle. Not only that, it can do it all fast. A fast miracle. Depending on what kind of veneer you get, it can be just a couple of weeks from start to finish and suddenly you have a flawless smile. There are different kinds of veneers. Yes. One of the newer brands of veneers is called Lumineers. How is it different than other veneers? They all use porcelain for their covers. The main difference with something like Lumineers is that the porcelain is very thin and strong, so it can be placed onto a tooth without having to remove any or very little of the original tooth structure. That's a good thing, right? Yes. But both lumineers and conventional veneers will do a great job to enhance your smile. However, because conventional veneers are thicker, they require you to remove some of the original tooth structure so the veneer doesn't bulge out unnaturally and adhere better. If you use lumineers, you're not grinding or shaving off any of the sensitive structure. There's no pain or discomfort, or need for injections of anesthetic. Do they cost different? Pricing for the two different approaches is about the same. So why don't all dentists use lumineers? Some dental cases do not qualify for lumineers. This is due to the way the original teeth are placed in the mouth. What do you mean? Well, if there is little or no space between the teeth, then even the super thin lumineer will not fit. Or, if teeth are too crooked, then the dentist needs to grind the tooth anyway and adjust the veneer a bit more, and sometimes there is a color issue with the teeth and the thicker veneer might do a better job covering it. So, how do I know which one to choose? Not to worry, your dentist will know which one is better for your situation. So, what you are saying is that both veneers and lumineer are pretty much the same and it is just a matter of a few circumstances which might make one better than the other, and the dentist will know? That sums it up quite well. A beautiful smile is a beautiful thing. I couldn't have said it better myself. Remember, having a beautiful smile increases confidence, 
self-esteem and improves many areas of our life. You can have a stunning beautiful smile today by visiting your dentist. I'll see you at your next dental visit.